What is up everybody? ODC here and I'm back with another video. Um, today's video we are going to take a look at the Gridiron Studios weapons and accessories. Um, I got a couple of these weapons and accessories packs. Um, long story short, I am feeling very under the weather. Um, it's allergy season and I have just been reaping the benefits of that. Um, so if I sound a little weird or off or it's because I'm just not been feeling all that well, but, uh, Dem Guts, what's going on, bud? Um, I did want to, I did want to just, uh, kind of discuss these weapons and accessories packs. Um, they've been out for a little bit now, a couple months, a few months at least, um, and I just thought I would talk about them, shed a little bit of light to them in case anybody's interested. Um, there's a, f uh, a couple of people that have done reviews on uh, YouTube already. Um, but um, I'm going to be doing a, a video um, pretty much every time I get one of these sets because they are a higher premium of a set. Um, these, some of these sets will set you back around 30 bucks each depending on the set. Um, some, I think, I think they actually started slashing some of the prices to $29.99. There's some of them are like $34.99 when they originally came out. Um, they do have different paint decoed sets. Um, they are coming out with a lot of different sets. I think they're just coming out with the, uh, they just came out yesterday with the Predator uh, minigun set. Um, it's supposed to be like a very similar, if not a replica of the same, um, minigun that was used by Jesse the Body Ventura in Predator. So you can check that out if you want to. Um, it's just gridiron props, I believe, dot com. Or, um, but I'm sure if you Google gridiron studios, it'll pop right up and you'll be able to see it. Gridiron props, either one. Um, I did pick up a uh, roadblock here. This is the classic looking roadblock as opposed to the um, first looking roadblock, which is right there. A uh, little bit difference there. I don't know if I'm going to be going into a figure review here. It's not really what this is about. This is more about the sets and the actual figures. Um, but these sets, like I said, they're a little bit more of a premium, but they do help out the figures. Um, overall finish the fit and finish of the figure it does improve them quite a bit now i'm usually not one to spend a whole lot of money to make a 20 dollars figure better but i have bought cloth goods for my mythic legions i've bought accessory packs for my mythic legions i've bought a bunch of different stuff so i would have to sit here and be a hypocrite and say that i don't do that because i have done it and if something is going to exponentially help the figure's quality, which is, I mean, essentially what Hasbro should have came out with is these accessory packs for the figures anyway. If those people over there designing the figures and releasing them get their head out of their ass and realize what is actually supposed to be released with the figure, <laughs> then uh, maybe we wouldn't have to worry about having to go through secondary companies to get this stuff. But, you know, that's that's a tall order nowadays. So, um, and it's Hasbro. So, expect uh, mediocre at best. So, when you um, when you do purchase these, the, like I said, the this Roadblock Classic uh, set came all, everything I'm going to show. Um, and then the Breaker set also came with everything I'm pretty much going to show. The um, 9 mil carb carbine, excuse me. Um, the, uh, also the backpack and everything, and there are functions to it, um, uh, functions to both. Um, everything is pretty much removable on them. The only thing I don't like is about breakers backpack is that it's, it uses double-sided tape as opposed to a peg. Uh, but there, if you, if you know <laughs> that the vest on breaker does not have a peg hole on the back, so you kind of have to use double-sided tape unless you're planning on drill, drilling, excuse me, or dremeling through the back of his vest to reach the peg hole on his back. 
Um, and some of the, I think some of these figures don't even have a peg hole on their back. But the majority of the classifieds figures usually do. Um, even Roadblock here has a peg hole at the back of his vest. I don't think Breaker did or does, but he's already got his backpack attached there. Um, I actually ended up, I was I was actually going to pass on the Ram cycle. It wasn't really a top priority for me. Um, the cycles, I'm usually not a cycle guy, more of a car guy. Um, so the Ram cycle was never really a priority. I think I owned like, I think I own only like one Ram cycle. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that I actually found this guy on sale for $24.99 at Target. So I got lucky there. Um, this guy, I ended up having to pre-order. This was really the, the roadblock I wanted, to be honest with you. I'm trying to pick the stuff off his head because I have four dogs and it's hell on earth trying to get freaking dog hair cleaned. Um, but that long story being short, let's get to the accessories. I'll get to roadblock first and then we'll go through breaker. Um, so roadblocks accessory pack is essentially his modus. Um, now there's, I mean, there's tons of different accessory packs that they offer. You don't have to go with this accessory pack. Um, I just figured it fit the bill with this character or with this version of Roadblock just because this is more of the original look for Roadblock um, in just, you know, six-inch Hasbro form. Um, and this was the Amazon exclusive Roadblock. With, it came with the helmet and everything. I just kind of have him holding it in his hand awkwardly. Uh, but the good thing about this, this set is that it does peg into the back and it does peg in very well. Um, I have been noticing that whenever <laughs> backpacks do come from Hasbro, and maybe they can take a note here, um, the pegs on all of their backpacks are either too shallow or they're too skinny, and they don't fit into the back of the peg, peg holes on the back. Um, and this even comes with a peg hole system on his back. It's like they, they were going, they were thinking about giving him this backpack system, and then they were just like, no, nah, just give him a... Give him a minigun. It's fine. With a big canister on it. Um, and and that's fine. But, I mean, if you're going to give us the vintage look, you might as well just give us the whole vintage look with the backpack and the modus and all that fun stuff. So, but that's where uh, Gridiron Studios did step in. I, I do have to say that, that all of this plastic is a nice, flexible, high-quality, durable plastic. I could, if this fell down the stairs, I don't have to worry about something cracking or breaking. I don't have to worry about a handle snapping off or the, you know, the barrel breaking off. Um, they are also drilled um, barrel holes. So you do actually have that drilled hole for the barrel, which is really nice. Uh, there's paint shading going throughout the entire set, um, which is kind of expected for a $30 set, which is, this is, this is essentially what you get. Um, it's a removable tripod right here for the modus. Um, so if you wanted to, actually, you actually would have it set up this way, um, and then you would fire it off this way. So he does have a full complete set right here. The uh, ammo chain is removable, both from the, the uh, Modus itself and the ammo pack. Um, and the ammo pack just kind of fil filters up in there. Very similar to how a Pursuit of Cobra figure filtered, um, like the backpacks for like the Iron Grenadiers from Pursuit of Cobra and such. The really heavily armored ones, not the traditional looking ones. Uh, but even this backpack piece is removable. So this is a separate piece. This is a separate piece. And everything has paint shading on it. Um, so that's really nice. Except for, I think, the ammo. And I know this is backwards. I understand that. But um, I was just kind of setting it up just for aesthetics. But anyway, the um, like I said, this is all removable. You can take this out if you want to. There it goes. Five figures that just fell off my table. That's great. Um <laughs> But uh, like I said, everything removable. This is basically tearing down the entire system right there. Let me just readjust my camera here. 
Come on. Do it. Do it on up. Come on now. All right. Uh, Brenda, what's going on? Woodman, how you doing? Dem guts low again, bud. Um, yeah, I agree. He does look, he does look complete with this whole set. Um, Zorpox, what's going on, buddy? And I'm working with very limited space here because I have not cleaned my, <laughs> my <laughs> toy room in a hot minute because I've just been busy with such busy and such with stuff anyway but this is it all torn down the whole set that this is all what you get um and i really do think that this is what the figure should have came with to begin with um the fact that we do have to go still through outside companies to to get this the proper pieces for an action figure that looks the part uh, but doesn't necessarily have the finishing products with it um what was it i think this is pretty much the minigun that he came with and i ended up swapping it out for the ram gun one and this is pretty much heavy duty right here he's using this for now just until i find something better for him um but you know personally i really like this set and, and the, even the greens almost pretty much match everything not that everything needs a match it's not a fashion show that's not my point but it's it's impressive that these almost match the same color plastic as Hasbro's green, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it is hollowed out on the bottom, and here's just what the canister looks like there. On the side, there's even a little handle. So the sculpt work is really well done for the ammo um, case. It looks really good. You can see the handle up top. It's very well done. It's very well thought out. Um, the the paint shading going throughout does give off that uh, worn and used look. So it's not just like a bright, vibrant green all over the place. Um, the backpack itself does also have some paint shading going throughout a little bit. It's very slight, but it is there. At least on mine it is. Um, you can see it on the side there. Um, over here as well. It looks really good. And like I said, everything fits in and it's ambidextrous. You can go off the right side or the left side. It, do, it does not matter. It'll fit either way. Um, so it's really nice that you can pretty much pick your poison as to whether you want to have Roadblock be a lefty or a righty. doesn't matter. The are, There are um, a peg hole here, and this is for the tripod right here. You could have it going this way if you want to, or you can have it going the proper way, which is this way, um, just like that. Actually, you want to have this upward, so this clears everything. So this is pretty much how you want to have it pegged in, just like that, so it's nice and flush. It actually doesn't even touch his body, so it's this is pretty well thought out as far as an accessory goes. Um, the like I said, the ammo storage just goes. You just kind of plug it right into there. Actually, you want to do the thicker side on this side. So you want to plug it right in. It's probably easier if I take this out. So when you're assembling, I would definitely do the ammo first and just try to feed it all the way up in there as best as you can. And like I said, this stuff is pretty durable, so you don't have to worry about things snapping or breaking. It's not. Chintzy, chintzy, chintzily, that's not a word, but it's not chintzy. <laughs> you don't have to worry about something breaking or snapping off. Um, everything fits in pretty nice and tight. I'm going to give it the shake test. Nothing's falling out. It's not like a cheapo toy or anything like that. Um, there, you'll see a peg right here on the side. That's actually to store the modus, which is, you know, when we're, th when we're talking about reality stuff, we're never talking about G.I. Joe is reality based, so you would never have a Modus attached to your side of your backpack in reality. In reality, a Modus is a two person manned gun uh, and you have to break it down. So you have to put it in pieces um, and then assemble it when, when um, you're going to be using it. And that's why it's a two man pretty much uh, gun because it's heavy as shit. No one person can just walk around with this stuff. But we're talking about G.I. Joe, so it doesn't... We're not talking about reality here. So, 
they put a little peg on the side just so you can have him, you know, using something else. I'm going to have to go get the other rifle, which it also comes with. This is not the whole set. I have to go grab the rifle really quick, so you just bear with me. Um, that's, I think, the one thing I forgot to grab, <laughs> of course. It's always something, right? Um, but that's the peg on the side for the Modus. Um, there's a peg right here that's for the back, right here. And if you want to put it in, you just line that up with the back portion, slide it in, and it fits very well. I'll give him the shake test. And there's no issues there. there, it, there it's not falling off. There's no, no problems or anything like that. And then if you want to have him hold it, let me get this helmet off of his finger here. If I can do that, let me get him out of the way. And I have to readjust my camera anyway, so. Okay, there we go. He had really had a, he had a death grip on this uh, helmet. So I'm going to get him all geared up here really quick with just the set. Then I'll go grab the other accessory that he came with, which was the rifle with a drum on it we'll put his little helmet on here and then we'll get him all situated with his modus in his hand now what i like to do personally is just put the modus in his hand first then feed the ammo um via each side um either side excuse me but there we go and i mean he looks pretty official here it looks and feels like OG, um, OG uh, roadblock here. So and then we'll just feed that in right there. And there you go. It's just that simple to get him set up. Um, it looks great. I really like it quite a bit. Um, the green isn't as if it's coming off and it looks a little bit vibrant. It's really not. It's very much more subdued when you have it in hand as opposed to um, seeing it in photos or on camera. So once you get these accessories in hand, you'll, you'll see the quality um, of the, the actual flex because it's kind of like a flexible. It's not like gummy by any means, but it is a flexible, durable plastic. So you do feel the quality of the plastic in the set whether it's in the, the whole mold of the modus itself or the backpack or the tripod or even just the ammo belt. Um, pretty cool, though. It's definitely expensive. It's definitely on the higher price point. I mean, you're essentially paying more for this than an actual classifieds figure. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing. So this is not going to be for everybody. I promise you that right off the bat. This is, people are probably going to pass on this a lot if you're, you know, you're not wanting to spend that kind of money. Um, to me, personally, I thought it was, you know, worth a try to try out a new company to see what they're all about. Um, if the quality's there, um, this way I could pass along the information, make help you make your decision a little bit better. Um which we call it. If I could think of the other company, I'd grab that other head. But for now, um, I'll leave Roadblock here for you. Let me grab his other accessory, and then I'll be right back. I apologize for the dead air time, but uh, simply just forgot it in the other room. All right, I'm back. See, I promise I wouldn't be gone that long. Okay, so he also comes with this. Um, I think it's like an M4 or AR-15. It's pretty much an AR-15 with a drum on it. 
which I actually do have a plan for this rifle. It's not going to go with Roadblock here. He's going to just he's going to be chilling with his Modus. But um, this is going to go with somebody else. I have plans for actually a, a custom. So I don't know. Uh, the drum is removable. If you do pick up the set, the drum's removable on there. All their magazines are pretty much removable on uh, the rifles for the most part. There is a little bit of paint shading going throughout this, so it's not just like a vibrant green, just like the Modus. There's actually paint shading going throughout the crevices and even near the site, um, the red dot, excuse me, right there. It is suppressed, which I don't know if I would have a suppressor on a gun with a... <laughs> a drum to a uh, double barrel drum on it but um or a drum period uh the rate of fire going through this thing is gonna be pointless to even have a suppressor on it so you almost don't even need it um here just to compare quality now i picked this modus up a while ago from a ebay seller um and i have to say you know the the quality is definitely not the same. This is definitely a 3D, just straight up black plastic. It's very cheap. Um, it can break easily. Um, so it, it's the, the handle's actually too short for the figure's hand. So there's a couple different things. Obviously, this was not, you know, meant to be um, for a fig, you know, for a figure, it's it's a 3D print as best as it could be. Um, it's meant for like a, a, a six inch figure, just not, I don't think, a classified figure. Um, but the sculpt on this obviously is going to be superior. The the paint, there's no paint on this, so you can't compare the two. But even the girth, the sculpt up here, you can tell this was 3D printed just by the different uh, laser cut to it. So and it's kind of bent upward. Uh, it's still a really decent modus, but it just doesn't compare to this. I mean, the quality of plastics here, are it's like apples and oranges. So I just wanted to kind of give that as a little comparison um, in case anybody was you know, looking for a modus. Um, I'm not sure the seller even sell these, sells these anymore, but you could probably search on eBay for a a modus, a custom 112 scale modus, and it'll pop up under a search of some sort. So I don't have a direct link or anything like that for this one if you're you know, looking for something like this, but this is a cheaper plastic and it will flex. If it does flex, it will break. So I'm just trying to give you a heads up if you're looking for something cheaper than this. The This is a much cheaper plastic. Um, but he looks the part. He looks great. He he looks nice. I almost want to give this to Duke. Right now I have Duke with the uh, you know the typical um what was it? This was from the Crimson Guard Pack from Valiverse, which is this is perfectly fine for him. Absolutely fine for him. But if I took this and I gave it to Duke, I think it actually works have Duke with this and you know he's he's really ready to go now he's he is prepared to go and it looks looks the part you know it looks good with you know whoever you want to give that to it doesn't matter who um, I'm sorry I'm so blurry it's just the the live stream um, but it looks really nice it looks very good very the part I feel like it actually is scaled very well these i feel like sometimes when other companies come out with um you know accessories for for like was it six inch figures i feel like some of the six inch scaled uh weapons and accessories that come with six inch figures they're underscaled where i feel like this is the proper scale um some people might think they're a little bit too big i don't think they're too big at all I think this is the proper way that they're supposed to look. So I think it's a really good set. Like I said, you get the Modus, the obviously the backpack, the tripod, and the gun belt, and then another rifle. And that I think ran me $29.99. So 30 bucks, yeah, it's expensive. I'm not gonna bullshit you. 
but um, it is a really nice, well done set. So I'm going to take him and I'm going to scoot him over and I'm going to scoot Duke over. I'll scoot those two over. Then I'm going to come over to Mr. Breaker here and we're going to talk to Mr. Breaker for a second. So let me just get him off of his cycle here. Let's unbreak his ankle because it looks like it was broken. Um, and I meant just like because he's turned weird, not because he's actually broken. But um, so Mr. Breaker here, Breaker Breaker 1-9, clear the line. Do you read me? Sorry, that was a little jizza for you guys. Jizza from Wu-Tang, if you don't know who the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so um, Breaker here, he was a very basic bitch bare bones figure um and i feel like this accessory pack really helped finish him um, not that we should have to you know source a company like this but i feel like they really just didn't give a shit about the character that we were mostly like oh who can we just put with uh the ram cycle oh a breaker yeah we'll just throw a give him a helmet and call it a day no, I mean, they didn't even give him a sidearm, for God's sake. Nothing. He's got no way to defend himself when he's off the bike. So it didn't make sense. Um, this makes more sense. This set, I think, also goes for 30 bucks. Now, this set, as opposed to the Madu set, I mean, if, if they're the same price, obviously you're getting better bang for your buck with the Madu set. Um, you're getting more. Um, whereas this, you're just kind of getting a backpack with some removable parts. Don't get me wrong. You are getting a knife and a sheath, uh, and a, and a, you know, a carbine, uh, a nine mil carbine, um, with a removable mag, uh, but you're just not getting the amount that you would get with the Madu set. So I think the Madu set is the better set, but this does help finish off breaker. So. Weigh your options there, people. Like I said, these sets aren't going to be for everybody. So, but I have to be honest. Um, I really like this set. I, I do. Um, I do like it from just a visual standpoint, an aesthetic standpoint. It looks great. Um, even if, you know, this wasn't included, which it should be. You know, he needs something to defend himself with. Um, <laughs> you can remove the knife. The knife is right there. It is a separate piece. He's got a big, nice Rambo knife there, and it's attached to the backpack. It slides in really nice on the side. The attached phone, which does detach under here, and it fits in very well, as you can see there. It's not loose. It's not going to flop all over the place. You can have him hold this in his hand, hold it up to his ear. Not that he would necessarily need this, and this does come off a little bit of a dated thing, almost like, a, oh, I don't know, Vietnam-esque kind of backpack, <laughs> uh, Cold War backpack. Um, I mean, if I guess most people want that retro look, which is fine. That's what I went with with Roadblock over there, but I got to say that uh, it still looks great. It still looks good. It still works for Breaker. I don't really mind it too much. And I love the fact that you can just store the phone so it's out of the way. So he can still be tactical and have that that piece here. And it fits in nice. It works um, not only with the design of the character, but with the aesthetic of the action figure itself. Um, and I really feel like this was, you know... <laughs> another company doing Hasbro's job for them. They should have finished this guy off and given him some sort of communications backpack. The uh, walkie-talkie is removable here. He can hold that in his hand separately. It's a really nice sculpt, and let me just bring this in here so you guys can see everything. It does actually have the Gridiron Studios logo on that piece right there. Over here, that's what the walkie-talkie looks like and it just slides right into the backpack just like so so i mean whether you want to use it separately or not it's right there the world is your oyster you can remove the communications uh portion right here just slide it right out if you want to and just slide it right back in if you need to now i can't take the backpack off because i've already used the double-sided tape to 
uh, tape it to his back. So you can't, I can't remove it now. <laughs> um, I was going to assemble it, but there's really not that much assembly required for me to even show me doing that. It's just double-sided tape. You pull one piece off of the, the, the red uh, tape cover off the one side and just put it on his back. It's, it's really self-explanatory there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it's a nice set. Um, it looks good. I like that, uh, he can hold his phone if he needs to, for some reason, maybe, maybe that's why my breaker was on sale, but he is extremely loose in the ankles and the elbows. I don't know why, but maybe it's just my bad luck. Probably just my bad luck, but he can hold it up to his ear if you need him to. He can talk on it, you know, if you want to get him to do that. He can do it. I mean, there you go. Proof is in the pudding. There it is. It's right there. He's chatting away. He also has a microphone on his helmet, so maybe the phone is redundant. But then again, maybe, you know, EMP went off. He's got to use a landline of some sort uh, or, you know, satellite phone or so. I don't know. Who knows? I'm just making shit up at this point. Uh, the sculpt of the figure, I don't have an issue with the sculpt of the figure or anything like that. Um, I would just say the ankles are a little bit loose on mine, which is kind of a bummer. But um, yeah, I really do like the set overall. I think it really does, like I said, I'm just going to keep repeating myself here. It does help finish the figure off and make him complete. Um, let me just get this phone out of his hand now phone over here and like I said it just clips in right on his back just like so and it just stays in there which is it just makes sense right it's just so simple uh, the knife itself can fit into his hand so there's no issues there oh look Hasbro things can fit into someone's hand un unlike this uh, weirdo <laughs> hold on his ankles are being funky again Funky baby like a monkey. Oh my lord, your ankles suck, baby. I'm going to have to fix your ankles with some floor polish, baby. Uh, unlike this nonsense. What's he supposed to, what's Roblox supposed to do with this? Butter, butter someone? You know, like this, this can, eh. This can just go away somewhere. You know, it's like. It's loose. It he barely holds it. Uh, yeah, just it's just pretty much just gonna sit right in there, just like that, and never move. So I don't know. I never understood the point of a knife that can't be held by an action figure. I've seen that, and it's not just the classifieds figures. It's you know, a lot of older GI Joe three and three quarter inch figures can't do it. A lot of figures just can't hold shit sometimes. That have been produced in the past. So it's nice to see. Like I said. Yet again. Another company. Doing Hasbro's work for them. Um, it's nice to see another company. Actually going through the motions. To get things right the first time. You know. And like I say. He can hold it. And he can look tactical doing it. So there's no issues there. Like I said, it's a big old Rambo-esque looking knife. I don't know the name of the knife. I'm not a big knife guy, but uh, it's a nice one. And like I said, it's all durable plastic, so you don't have to worry about it snapping or breaking or anything like that. So that's a good thing. And he's got a nice little sheath right here for it. It's been tucked away. And it fits the aesthetic of the Breaker character. Yet again, lots of things making sense here. It's nice when things make sense, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. No issues there. I will say this. It does add a little bit of weight to the figure. Um, so if you have loose ankles like me, you're going to have to kind of work with those ankles to get them kind of balanced. But uh, hopefully your figure is a lot better quality than mine. I've always noticed, and it's always been kind of a thing as I put this into his hand, the carbine. Um, I've always noticed that whenever a figure comes with an, uh, some sort of like big deluxe accessory or whenever a figure comes with like a, a vehicle, the quality of the figure, I feel, goes down. Um, I don't know, or multi-packed figures. Multi-packed figures, 
um, deluxe figures. Like this is considered like a vehicle set. Um, I feel like there's always the quality of the figure that that comes with the vehicle or accessories. It goes down. The quality control goes down. The I don't know. There's just something always off about a deluxe figure. That at least maybe it's just my bad luck, and maybe I've just gotten a bunch of figures in the past um, or multi packs in the past Marvel Legends um, that have had bad quality control, but. Um, single carded figures seem to come a little bit more taken, well taken care of. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just, like I said, my bad luck, but that's what I think. But he can hold his, his carbine perfectly, perfectly well. And there's no issues there either. He can hold it. He can look down the sights. He can aim. He can shoot. He can do all that fun jazz. Let's get him looking appropriately. I'll have him taking a knee here. Gotta bend this like that. There we go. These ankles are just so wonky. They're oh so wonky. But there we go. Just keep feeding it. There we go. And now he looks the damn part, you know? And sometimes, especially with six-inch figures, it's still hard to get them to do that thing that you need them to do. You know, that thing you do. Sorry, I don't know. I'm referencing Tom Hanks movies now, but that's the thing you want him to do and that thing you do, you know? If any of you haven't seen Finch yet, you need to go see the movie Finch with Tom Hanks, by the way. I think it's on Apple TV or something like that. But it's really good. Definitely check it out. If you can pirate that shit, watch it. It was good, man. I, I swear to God. Tom Hanks is undefeated in the movie department. I don't know one bad Tom Hanks movie. Try to think of it, because I can't. Unless it's like a personal preference thing and you're like, oh, I don't like Forrest Gump. But who, I don't know anybody who doesn't like Forrest Gump. But I'm just saying. Tom Hanks is undefeated in the movie industry. That guy does not make a bad film. Like, tons of people made bad films. Tom Cruise made bad films. Arnold's made bad films. Stallone's made bad films. They've all made them, you know. <laughs> but not Tom Hanks. I'm telling you. That guy just makes movie gold. Anyway, moving on. Enough about Tom Hanks. I don't know how that all got brought up. Because I was talking about nonsense. Um... <laughs> but there you go I mean it looks he looks legit he looks the part he looks like oh look I can defend myself now I don't need only the ram cycle to <laughs> to defend myself poor breaker um, <laughs> but um, hopefully if they ever come out with a mainframe they actually give him a backpack and some you know some sort of way to defend himself too an assault rifle of some sort, or a sidearm. I would have thought they would have at least included a sidearm with poor Breaker. Hopefully they, they don't screw up Clutch when they ever come out with Clutch. Who knows if that'll even happen. But There's Ram Cycle. There is Breaker right there. We'll bring in uh, good old Roadblock here. And I think, it you know, everything looks good, man. It looks the part um, with the robot. Yeah, Dem Guts, yeah. Finch is the, the movie with the robot. And I'll just bring in Duke here too. And I'll scoot, I'll skadoodle everybody over. Skadoodle is not a word, but, you know, we're going to go with it. I, watched, I once knew a, a guy named Rich Skadoodo. But skadoodle is not a word. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, Kyle, you said you got your first Acid Rain figure coming in the mail tomorrow. Curious on the quality. I personally don't like Acid Rain figures. They're not for me. I Pretty much every single Acid Rain figure I've gotten has had some sort of quality control issue. 
So I don't mess with those anymore. I just, mm -mm. It, it's too expensive of a figure. They're more expensive sometimes than Joy Toy figures, and I just can't justify that when I could just go get a Joy Toy figure instead. So they're not really fun to play with. Granted, that's my experience. You might have a different experience than me. Hopefully, you don't have the QC issues that I did. But I'm just telling you, you know, because you brought it up. Uh, looks like a Bowie knife. Yeah, could be, possibly. It looks like whatever Rambo uses. It's it's a rather large knife for a breaker. But behind any enemy lines, analog works best. It does. It does. It's a good point. Analog is best when shit hits the fan. You know. Zombie apocalypse happens tomorrow. You want you want to get yourself a CB radio, you know? It's the only way you can keep in touch with anybody, if you want to keep in touch with anybody. At that point, I would just give up on humanity at all costs. But, uh... <laughs> Am I picking up any more of these uh, figs ODC? Are you talking about just the classifieds figures or the gridiron studio sets? Because I picked up a couple other accessories just to kind of, you know... You know, because I liked them. I'm not going to bullshit you. I like the way they look. They look good. The sculpts look good. They look accurate to real steel. And I thought it was, uh, the, these were good pickups. As far as the classifieds figures go, um, if they're on sale, yeah, I'll pick up some more. Sure. Um, I picked up, uh, what was it? Which, blah, 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 blah. Um, I actually have a gun for Beachhead because I found Beachhead on the Target site. Um, so there's 20 bucks, and I didn't have a beachhead before, so that'll that happened. Um, but I got a, a proper rifle for him. I did find who else? I have Lady J, and I have Flint because Flint I think looks fantastic, and I just happened to find both of those in store. Um, I have a what's we call it? I have. Major Blood, as you all know that, and Zartan. So, I have a few. I don't have a, a all of, all of the things. But it's pretty nice. I don't know. I well, I do have Scarlet too. I got Scarlet. Um, I actually like this Scarlet. I don't know. A lot of people don't like it. They're like, oh, she's too shiny and blingy, and I don't like the head and. I'm like, eh, what's the problem? I'm not that picky. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not that picky, but I don't see what the problem is with this figure. She has dog hair all over her. I'm sorry. Nothing I can really do about it at this point. <laughs> um, but I think she looks good like this. I don't I don't really have too much of an issue with her. A lot of people keep pointing out that the knee... Why do the hell have knee pads on? I'm like... Do you know how many military personnel in reality use knee pads? Like, it's like a fucking necessity, man. You know? <laughs> I'm not saying it's any of you guys, but what I'm saying is, you know, it's like a, it's a thing. There's even, pan, what was it? I want to say most of the modern tactical uh, pants that military use have knee pads within the the uh, actual pants they're like part with the pants like they're you just have them already there so it's you know i don't get the whole i don't like knee pad thing <laughs> if i have to kneel down constantly or slide or fall to my knees or do something you know I would like knee pads for that, so I don't break, you know, blow an ACL, MCL, PCL, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I don't know. Tactically, it makes sense. SWAT team 
members use knee pads all the time. So, but yeah, I don't know. That's um, I don't know. That's pretty much it. I mean, I don't have too much else to say. Do you guys have any questions for me about these sets um, that I can help you with? Like I said, I did pick up a couple other accessories um, as far as weaponry goes. Um, all of the accessories, and I'm just double-checking breakers. Yes, they are all drilled barrels. So you get drilled barrels with all of them. I know that's not probably the biggest deal to any you know most people um and also the other cool thing valiverse figure uh weaponry does come with drilled barrels as well so you have that um so if you want to use some sort of effect maybe even the valiverse ones too you could probably fit the effects i mean you could try you could try and fit the effects in those barrel holes and see if they'll fit um i don't have any effects here personally right now so i can't test that for you but if i do find any effects within the next couple days i'll uh take a couple photos and i'll upload them to the strident page and to my uh facebook page so if you guys want to check that out you can just check out the wet just checked out the gridiron site they have a lot yeah they, they've been coming out with quite a bit they just dropped that uh the the gun called the chain saw which isn't really my cup of tea um, but, you know, teach their own, whoever likes, um, it kind of reminds me of like a, that gun kind of reminds me of the, like a Gears of War type gun, something like that, um, where you can actually put a chainsaw on. It doesn't look exactly like Gears of War, but, you know, gives off that kind of feel to it. Um, but yeah, they have, you know, more realistic stuff. They have... Um, some other, what was it? They even have some pistols, like the one pistol that Arnold used in the first Terminator, which I have a, actually have a figure of that scene where he's in the punk rock nightclub or he's in just like a nightclub and he's dressed all punk rock and stuff, but they have a bunch of different stuff. So just go give them a check or check it out or whatever, you know? What is that base in the background? The base in the background is the Joy Toy um, mech base. And there's a bunch of different bases that you can connect. I've done a whole series on them. So you can go and check those reviews out if you want to. But uh, Joy Toy is the name of the company that makes them. So if you want to check that out, you can as well. Um, and if you're looking for Joy Toy and it's not popping up, Go to LockerToys.com and everything that you need is there. Um, so, quick little plug, cheap, free plug for uh, Locker Toys and Joy Toy. But, I don't know. If you guys have any questions about any of the sets, like I said, I'm here. Let me know. Or if you have any questions for me about something else, go ahead. Um, I did see the, what was it, new James Bond movie, and I did not like it at all. Mm -mm. No. Especially the ending. Absolutely not. Unacceptable. But that's just me. <laughs> I just thought I would give my two cents on that, because that's about all I want to spend on it. <laughs> my two seconds worth of a <laughs> review. But do you guys have any questions about the sets that I could help you out with? Do you need me to hold anything up? I've been playing Titanfall 2 online recently. Surprising, surprisingly, people are still playing it. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a whole community that still plays it. Um, still trying to find some gaming friends to play with. Yeah, I know. It's tough these days, man. It is tough. Um, Harder They Fall was good in my opinion. Yeah, I've been wanting to check that out also. Any Black Series figures? Uh, I picked up uh, Aura Singh. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little underwhelmed with her release. I thought she was going to be a little bit better. She comes off a little bit... Um, wah, wah, I don't know. A little bit wah-wah to me. Like wah-wah-wah. 
I think it's just the, I don't know. There's just certain things about her that I don't know. I may I'll do a review on her because I was really looking forward to her. the The rifle just comes off a little bit cheap, cheaply made to me. It, there's not a whole lot of detail on it. It looks very meh, you know. So I guess I was a little underwhelmed with Aura Sing, but that's pretty much all as far as, far as Black Series stuff goes that I have picked up. I have not picked up anything Black Series in months. Nothing. Uh, I think the last thing I got was the Deluxe Boba Fett. And I'm looking at my Black Series shelf just to see. But the Deluxe Boba Fett was probably my va favorite uh, version of Boba Fett. I have the Mafex version of that Boba Fett. And that one is probably the best Boba Fett ever made. Um, but I always like the Return of Jedi look for Boba Fett better than, I know, most people are probably going to say, Empire looks so much better, and you're stupid. But I don't care. I think uh, Jedi, he looks better. I just like the way the belt looks on him and, and a bunch of different other stuff, but... Uh, what, about to start playing again? What, um, Titanfall 2? I mean, I should get on there. I haven't, I haven't been playing. i got to jump on with you guys again. You and Stry and... And by you, I mean Dem Guts. Uh, we got to finish... Uh, what was it? Uh, Dragons? Was it Dragon's Quest? What the hell's the matter with me? I can't think of anything right now. Uh, what's your take on the Marvel Hydra Stomper? I could care less. Um, I'm not a, I don't know. I'm not into the, the, the what if stuff. I know it's like the, the, the cool thing to be collecting right now, but I, I could care less. Uh, Dem Guts, you got Titanfall 2? Does he? I would assume he does. Um, Dragon's Crown, yeah, there we go. Got my ass kicked yesterday. Yeah, I should jump on. I haven't played since the last time I played with you guys, so it's been a hot minute. But. Ooh, ooh, my lord. Oh, I'm really, uh, I don't know, I was feeling really under the weather all day today, so I thought I'd jump on and do this video. I've been wanting to do this video and I wasn't sure if I was going to shoot an edited one or do a live one. I figured the hell with it. We'll just do it live. Uh, pulling a nerd. <laughs> but yeah, gearing up, um, going back to, uh, Going back to the homeland soon. Next week, I'm going back to Buffalo. Pretty excited about that. And the food. Oh, my God. The food is so much better in Buffalo. <sighs> Did I grab any more Mezcos? Uh, no, uh, I have not. Um, I have, you know, I, pick, I did pre-order Nemo. So when Nemo gets here, um, I still have to shoot my... Conan review, which that's probably not going to happen until, unless I do it this week, but I have to work the next four days straight, so it's going to suck. Um, as far as timing, maybe if I have enough ambition, I'll try and get it done before I leave, but I do leave um, Sunday for Buffalo, so um, if I don't get it up by Sunday, um, probably not going to get it done until I get back, which won't be until the 29th. So I'm I'm going away for a little bit. Uh, thanks, Jossie. I appreciate it, buddy. You finally got your Krig 13. Nice man. Yeah, it's a good figure. It's a fun figure. Love the design. I still got to shoot the uh, Gunslinger Spawn review that I wanted to shoot right away too. I don't know. Maybe I'll do Aura Sing, but I'm not big on doing Black Series reviews anymore. So I don't know. We'll see. See how uh, we'll see how I feel. 
But uh, I think I'll draw it to a close here. I've gone on almost an hour now. And I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me drone on about my nonsense. But um, <laughs> but I uh, I appreciate you all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully this was informative. Um, if you guys have any other further questions and you're watching this on playback because this was shot live, um, don't hesitate to leave me a notation in the comments, you know, whatever your question is. And I do, I always try to do my best to answer you guys as best uh, to my ability. But um, I think I pretty much covered everything on here. Um, there's not really much else to discuss as far as the sets go like i said the world is your oyster if you if you think they're too expensive by all means pass on the sets you maybe you don't need them uh, but if you feel like you you need to finish off the character and you want good quality accessories or weapons to go with them um these are this is another option for you so it's a uh, gridiron props i think gridironprops.com um and i think it's just the name of the company is Gr Gridiron Studios. And like I said, they make a bunch of accessories and stuff. And um, yeah, they can probably work with your Action Force figures once we get them. Um, so hopefully those come in the mail soon too. Um, pretty stoked about the Action Force figures. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a uh, great day. I, as like I said, I'm going to try and work on that Conan review I, I it is something i did want to do so i'm going to really try and get that done i know i said i was going to get it done the last video i did and that just didn't work out because of life logistics but um you know um i'll try my best to get it done though i promise but i hope you guys enjoyed this review thank you so much for watching um yeah hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you guys on the flip side.